All right, good morning, Franklin Percussionists. It is the fifth week of our online study, and this week we're gonna start to focus on the piece Downfall of Paris. Um, just a very traditional, rudimental snare drum piece. It's played in large groups sometimes with everyone playing the same part. Um, it's been around for hundreds of years. It focuses on a few rudiments, the seven stroke roll, um, paradil with the flams, um, drags later, uh, also 15 stroke roll and how it's interpreted. I posted a video of John Wooten explaining um, some of the interpretations here. Um, and plus he's an incredible drummer, so please watch that. But I think the first thing that we need to do in order to understand how to play this is um, break it apart. The A section here is the beginning up to the first and second ending. And then this, uh, this where this 15 stroke roll, that's the B section. So I know it seems like a lot and kind of hard to, to see what's going on here, but um, it starts with the seven stroke. And then don't be confused here, just follow the sticking on the top. So, um, and we'll go ahead and focus on a couple of these rudiments. But before, before I start playing with my sticks, the first thing I'd like to do is just count the rhythm with a metronome. I got the metronome set. at 72. This comes in on the and of two, okay? Let me see if I can get this about right there. Good, you can see a little bit better. So here's the counting. And one, and a two, and a one, and two E, and a one, and a two, and a one, and two E, and a one, and a two, one, and two E, and a one, and, and one e and a two e and a one and a two and a one and two e and a one and a two and a one and two e and a one and and one and and one e and a two e and a one and two and one and that takes you back to the top. So let's go ahead and address first of all this seven stroke roll. Right, we get this idea of, I want you to see my sticks here if you can. I'm gonna raise this up just a little bit, which is higher than I'd like it, but help you see what I'm doing. So what a lot of drummers will do is they'll, they'll go ahead and play the shell of that. And really, the shell of the seventh stroke roll is a triplet, starting with the left hand here and finishing with the right. One, two, one, two. Uh, sorry. There it is. Right? And there's the accent on the right. And then what you want to do is you want to double those. That's the seven stroke roll. Um, lots of flams in here. I'm dealing with this uh, third measure or second full measure here. We got right, left, those are both flams. Okay, and then notice that the accent is on the, the left sticking here. I'm gonna go ahead and play just a little bit for you. One, two, one. Two. Right there we have the paradiddle with the flam. So first of all, just do the paradiddle without the flam. It's right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And then you start to add the flam. Okay, back to the beginning again. Work that seven stroke roll a lot. There it is, the shell of it. 
or the skeleton is what they'll call it. And then with the doubles, Sorry, so I'm gonna do that again. Notice that I'm really trying to accent the left sticking here, okay? It also shows up here. This measure and this measure are identical, okay? This measure will also show up multiple times. It shows up here. So they only give the sticking for it once. Here we go again. One, two, one, two. Last two measures. So I'm practicing here measure 15 and 16 where I messed up. Make sure you're doing a paradiddle there. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right. And there's three flams in a row there in that first inning. Practice certain measures over and over again. The second time, you're going to go and play the second ending, and then you're going to go into what I call the B section here. And this is a 15-stroke roll with a crescendo. And we'll start focusing on that next week. But really, what I would like you to do this week is work this A section, record yourself, and submit. Submit the piece to the classroom. Um, and then watch John Wooten's uh, description of this piece and how it's supposed to be played. And don't get too discouraged. I mean, he's, he has a doctorate in drumming. Um, he's an incredible drummer. That's this week's focus, the downfall of Paris.